just me here on the floor as always working on the Anouk um, bodysuit and I have all of the pieces cut out so taking you behind the scenes. These are my pieces so I have lining for my front piece. This is also my front piece so the cup consists of a center cup and a side cup and then we have the back piece i have the lining sandwich so this is the upper back lower back and this is the lower back and then upper back on the other side i'm going to use a little bit of stay stitching so i can keep everything neat and then i'll go um, and do it uh, in my, use my overlocker for it moving on i just showed you guys all of the pattern pieces right so what i did with uh, my regular machine before i started using my overlocker i based all of my pieces the lining together with the outer fabric together so we have the back the lower back where i based the leg opening and then i encased the lining right here I just did the leg openings in the front as well here and I put the cups together but encasing every all of my um, seams so I'm going to use the overlocker right here and on this side I am not going to use it in the middle but I will use my iron on a lower setting to iron this flat. And so I'll have it like this. And what I will do is, I don't think I can. Okay, so what happens is in the back or in the front, I'll just ultimately um, stitch it like this. Just stitch those two together and I'm not going to um, try to encase the top part and for the side the side seams are not going to be encased so they are just going to be regular stitches Also finish encasing the uh, midriff or at least the, the top part of the body with the lower part and how I did this is by turning it this way and then I just encased it as the other as I would the others so that means that we have the right sides together and then we have the part here so the lining and the outer lining uh, I did that because I do like the look better right and it's a little hard to explain on this thing but it's just like encasing any other seam and I usually figure it out as I go <laughs> to be honest so I'm go just going to use my lower setting to iron this in place and so this is the top or this is the front part of the bodice and then this is the back part of the bodice I'm still going to do a stay stitch around the back just to keep everything how they're supposed to in place and then we'll move on to the next 
and this is how it looks when I have the front and the back pinned together I just pinned the side there are notches on each side and also the where the seam comes together for the front and the back and make sure to um, align everything and so I'll use my regular machine first just to do a base stitch and then I'll do my overlocker these are the only seams that will be exposed again laying it flat makes you see it better and understand a little bit more of what I did this is the Anouk bodysuit and I have the straps here I used over fold over elastic this one was one centimeter of uh, fold folded two centimeters when it's just regular uh, my straps are 1.2 um, centimeters I really like that width it gives enough support I have my hardware from uh, Costumera studio so I use rose gold hardware this was not a set this is something that I created on my own um, in terms of matching so I had this little stretch tool which is like a pinkish I lined it with a lycra color like a bronze color it does have metallic weaving in it and so it does give a little bit of a shimmer I encased the center of the bra, the center of the cup, and the middle part of the bodysuit where the cup and the other and the lower part of the bodysuit comes together. The only thing that is not encased is then both of the sides. So I had a choice between either encasing the side or encasing the top part to the lower and I chose for the top part to the lower. I had liked that look better. And this is how it looks from the front. I'm sorry that not everything is in the frame. I'll put it a little across so you can see. Here also using my fold over elastic for the leg opening using jersey fisco's jersey for the gusset and using a bodysuit closure right here this is honestly the part that i like the least i understand the science of it all but i feel like if i had narrowed the leg opening a little bit for the back and the front this would have fitted much better i'm not too sure what i will do this is the first time that i use this type of closure i have another brand that i have used previously that i liked much more than this and what i really like about everything i mean the fit is really good by the way but what I like about making my own lingerie is the fact that I can mix and match and customize whatever it is that I want. Sometimes I get carried away when I'm sewing and I forget to film. And sometimes I'm a little scared that I'll show you, give you the wrong information. But then again, I make mistakes too, so yeah. As always, I enjoy making this video. I hope you enjoy watching. Don't be afraid, comment down below if you have any questions. I just want to say hey. Have a great day.